This is just going to be about trying to deal with the friend. He likes to get around this backside, get up into that back window if he can. You see him just already working his way up onto this plateau, and Zachary already eliminated. Jer actually getting worked as well, and DeFran still working his way back around. He, li again, likes to get up into that back window. He's already kind of on his way. He's almost there, and he's in a position. Nobody's going to be able to deal with him up here. This is pretty much solidifying thing for things for Selfless here, even though their tank is asleep. Oh. Jer is going to get murdered. DeFran, again, unchecked. Who can deal with him? No one's up top. But, uh, it's because Zachary was taken down as the fight got started. Michael 3D had a terrific bio grenade following up off of Imong with that Roadhog hook, and that basically allowed for DeFran to just get to that high ground, do whatever he wanted, because they were too busy worrying about the people. ...opportunity to be aggressive and find the rest of those kills, but now this last opportunity to contest here. Oh, oh, oh man, there's the Shadow for Cresting. He gets right behind Primo, and they fall through with it, despite the Nanohog coming out from Jesus. We do see... Oh, oh okay, there's a good uh, ultimate coming out from Zachary. He's able to capitalize on two of them here, but there's just not enough people here, but Remember how short that spawn is. Zachary is melting these guys down. He has some help from his fellow Lucio player. Jer should be able to hold on or at least get a little bit of help here from Mangachu. And I, I think that uh, Renegades end up losing the second checkpoint off of this. Yeah, DeFran does wind up killing, killing off Mangachu, so there's no threat left anymore. Nobody, nobody at all left anymore. So now they're going to go much follow-up off of it. They're dying shortly after, but it looks like they should be able to take care of that Mangachu off the payload Primo as well in a rough spot. They go ahead and pop the... The whole hog just to push Primo back here. They're going to go ahead with that attack visor as well. Well, the whole hog is ju actually just to rip down the barrier so that when they do pop that nano <laughs> visor, they can just find those kills. And the P pulse bomb coming out finds those two picks as well. So they're in a great position here. But without that high ground, DeFran is going to be forced to kind of stay back and get, uh, you know, a little bit further back off the point if he possibly can. Oh, but, ooh, Mega wow. 2 not able to get onto the point. So 241, Selfless, setting a very good time for themselves here on their attacking side of King isn't that good, especially with the time that they got it. So by the time they're actually getting into the thick of this fight, you know, he's going to be back. Now, more importantly, they do have the pick on Dak, and then they get the one on the uh, friend there as well. So now it seems as though this is going to be the fight that they're going to be wanting to take. Sinatra gets picked yet again as Mengachu just flicks over, gets that headshot, and that's going to be definitely the secured objective here for Renegades. Great timing on that nano boost on the Primo as he lands the charge into the wall, instantly takes care of Kresik, doesn't allow for him to drop the shot or anything on Get very aggressive. Whole Hog comes out with the nano boost as well. He gets hooked over the ledge there. He just catches himself out of position. Just thought he should drop the shield and charge right on in. Remember, they haven't secured the second checkpoint, so I think this is going to end up hurting them big time if they can't capitalize with what they have. Dragon Strike comes out there from the other end. Is he able to find anything? Mangatru picks up two from downtown with that one on the payload itself, and this is going to be Renegade securing another checkpoint. Yeah, they have to get that kill on DeFran. They finally do indeed get it. And look at this. They definitely could match up that time. While it did look good for Selfless. Secure time, but they've got the Wombo combo. They've got four to work with. There's a Graviton Surge coming through. He catches two. Dragon Strike straight into it. Picks up two immediate kills. Bangachu is the one with the Nano Boost. He is cleaning it up. Earthshatter comes down. Primo sets a good pace for his team. They do finish with the quicker time. Six additional seconds. And we've got a game on our hands. Yeah, we saw Sinatra actually deflecting very early before either of the first checkpoint so early on. Yeah, and Jesus actually on the Roadhog. He was positioned up top just to try to uh, take DeFran out of that position as he comes out of that corridor and then, you know, just hook him out and try to get that kill. But he got easily eliminated and now Selfless with a great opportunity to get DeFran into that infamous position that he just does so well in. And he, again, will probably go unchecked here as Jesus is going to get <laughs> completely destroyed again. And that was my worry. It's just the Fran up top. They don't have anything to deal with him right now, except for Primo's shield and the projected barrier coming out from Zachary Sherlock he under a lot of pressure. He needs to be careful. No, Sinatra finds that one for himself. That's a nice bio grenade from Michael 3D to secure a couple of kills as well. And that will surely be the first checkpoint secured here as soon as they can deal with Jesus who is still lingering around, but he's going to be taken down and selfless. Checking another point off the board. And they're going to go forward and try to get to Fran. That yeah, that blizzard is going to be huge for them, especially in this archway. There's just, it's like basically the perfect spot for them. The Zario comes down, that's the Graviton into the blizzard. Look at that bionic grenade too. <laughs> oh, it's all about the shatter as he lays them flat. I was looking for a wall, but the wall eventually is going to be here to make sure that Sinatra can't get back to this one, or rather not Sinatra, that's going to be the Fran. They do stop them short of getting any further than that archway. Or rather the bookshop, I guess you could say. Still, 
spawn. Clearly being advantage for the offense, so that might have forced out that ultimate from Dak. But there's a Graviton Surge. He doesn't connect onto much because they take down Kresnik immediately after the Nano Boost is out there onto Zachary. He's fully charged. He needs to get some work done. Oh, Jaren and Jesus are very low. If those picks are found, if Sinatra can find... Oh, Jaren actually got the health pack, and that actually denied Dak one of his own. That's huge for them to try to keep this contest going. But there's Zachary falling short as well as Sinatra pressing this objective. Needs this Pulse Bomb to come up big. Has it ready to go. Who's he going to throw it on? He oh, gets, he gets there. there! That's a big pickup still. Primo's got his Earth Shatter on the point, looking for an opportunity to break it down. He throws it down, kills Sinatra off it. They need to be able to contest. Somebody get on the point! Get on the point! No! Oh my goodness, Renegades! I was looking for someone to be there. I thought they had that. They they definitely did. The whole hog was out there from the side of Renegades. Oh man, they had that in the bag, and at least. And uh, I, I'm just I'm not sure how Selfless is going to be able to contest Mangachu and Sherlocky here. I mean, it, they looked pretty good yesterday with this setup, and I think that's going to continue. We obviously know Mangachu is just absolutely dirty on the Fera. So I think that will actually be uh, portrayed here in this matchup on Lijing Tower. The Fran trying to peel around the backside and try to deal with that Mercy, who there's a little bit of room to hover around with Mangachu, but it's not quite as open as some of the other objective points. But regardless, two opening picks coming out here. A good start. Bar Barrage already here from Mangachu. He grabs one, but immediately taken down. And still, ults are plenty here for the side of Selfless, who come through with the first points here in round one. Percent ticks up here for Renegades, but this is looking so bad for them right now. They force out the Primal Rage. Jurlocky was taken down. He had the Resurrect TRX, but it doesn't matter. Selfless mopping up this fight. It will be Zachary unsheathing the blade here as he comes in to try to be a saving grace along with Jer, but I don't know if it's going to be enough. And Jera just going all over, trying to get on the point, trying to get that contest going. They have a lot of ults oh. to go. Sherlock going to be on the point. He's going to get that res. Three up in that res. Can they turn it back around? They have the numbers here. That resurrect was huge. I didn't expect him to actually come through and be able to get that one. But Defran's out of the fight. He has a pulse bomb coming off this one. They need to make sure they take care of Sinatra because Sinatra and Michael 3D are about ready to go. There's the nano boost. It's under Kresnik. Maybe that's going to be the smart move. They do clean this one up after a little bit of a scare here in Selfless, confirming opportunities to actually utilize the Hanzo uh, Graviton Zerge combo on this map. It is kind of tighter, especially in these back kind of sections over towards that uh, that server room over on the side. So, I, I'm, I mean, it wouldn't have been like too crazy, but it would have been the first time that I've seen it. Nice play from Michael 3D. Primo catching himself in a rough spot. He tried to jump out of that one, but he mog reeled him in. Michael with the bio grenade follow up off of that. They do secure the first points here. To steal away DeFran's ability to get those pulse bombs. I mean, he has been insane with these, and he already found one, and that's onto Sherlocky. Pulse bomb a little wide away from Jer there, but even so, that initial kill onto Sherlocky was substantial for them as he was nearing that transcendence. He's going to come back, but no. Tac fights are out here from Mangachu. Is it enough to deal with Sinatra, who gets another nano boost here? Sound barrier is out. This should be round secured. It's just Zachary in the area. He's here with Mangachu as well. Sherlocky's going to have transcendence. He comes back, heals up Zachary, but there are four people for your four selfless. Lucio is back in the area as well, but isn't enough, Yurex. Well, luckily for Renegades, Defran literally just blinked off the map on accident, so they might have an opportunity, but Zachary and Sherlocky falling yet again here. It looks as though selfless are going to be able to battle back anyways with the friend coming back as well and that should be it but the sound barrier coming up soon from Jer if he can get it up Primo going to be falling though so this is literally just desperation at this point he gets it onto four actually three people Megachu one of them on the tree and that's it too much from Imong the whole hog well timed from him that is going to be a 2-0 lead now on the a little bit of a role change coming out from these guys but they ran the selfless composition to deal with this last time not sure how they're going to fare this time around Imong getting pressured out by Mangachu, who has all the room in the world to work with Jesus and Zachary definitely pressuring hard as well on those flanking characters. Kresnik forced back as Sherlock U does indeed fall. And I don't know, I don't think the friend has enough room to work with here. He's going to be tossed off the <laughs> side by Jer there, and it looks as though Renegades with the first points of the map. A good start indeed for them. They are going to lose a couple of guys late here, but even so, I'm not sure if that secures it. They have people back on the point for the side of Selfless. Sherlock, he's here, not even close to a resurrect to bring anyone back up. Sinatra, though, finds that one onto Jesus, and Selfless are pulling this back in their favor here. And Sherlock, going to be kind of isolated in this back corner. Sinatra going to be able to take him on. 
And that's going to be Zachary finally coming over to Linsep support and Megachu to take him up into the sky. So Sherlock, he will be safe for the time being, but Zachary does fall and selfless with options here for selfless let's see what they could do with it gotta find a way to deal with sherlock -y. they know that it's gonna happen oh he gets, he gets the resurrect only gets himself or i guess megachu back up which is the only person to get res but it doesn't matter because he was taken down there are still six people here from the side of selfless man they are tearing them apart they've got the pulse bomb from sinatra if they need it doesn't even look like that's gonna be the case zachary 20 percent off from a dragon blade don't think he's gonna be able to get that back up in time 92 percent they're gonna contest as best as they can Gurks, but it's not looking good it's not looking good indeed this oh, will more than likely be a hundred to 99 situation oh 98 actually Megachu trying to make his way in has the barrage not gonna be able to do anything with it though as diva was just sitting there waiting for him and the overtime will tick down i think jesus will try to get onto the point and does indeed trying to see if he can get just a one clip onto Dak or find Ooh, something. Dragon Blade though, man. This could be it. He's going to try to turn this around. Can he come through again for the side of Renegades? He picks up one for himself. Nothing is available from Selfless here. Megachu coming back into this with a Barrage. And I think Renegades have a real shot now. Primo popping the Primal Rage. Barrage up top. They are turning this around. I don't know. Zachary hasn't been able to do too much since the Blade. Needs to be able to find the kills on the supports here. They do find the kill on the Dak. Now they just need to find the kill on some oh, they, they flip the point. No one's on the... Oh, credit. Oh, oh, Reinhardt here. Let's see what they can get done here. Uh, they, did, they pretty much dominated this round at uh, this point last time, so I wouldn't be I wouldn't be surprised to see more or less the same story. But thankfully for them, they don't have to worry about that Farmer's Mercy setup. And Michael 3D getting pressured in the back by Jesus. This time it's going to be Renegades getting kind of aggressive. Emong looking for that pick, though. Doesn't... Oh, gets the hook, but it's going to be disconnected as he falls down the stairs. So that was a bio grenade from Michael 3D, allowing them to follow through with that one. Pulse Bomb's out there. Emong takes a big chunk, but is able to take a breather. Now, and Jesus is spotted out. He is a key target to bring down. Otherwise, your supports are really going to feel the pressure from him. So they do take care of business and should be able to secure this round with that pick from Emong. Megachu on the McCree trying to get some work done. Not really finding the same headshot so far away. We saw DeFran finally get that pulse bomb ready to go, but Sherlock, he just takes him out. Sees him around the corner there, able to find that one. Shatter comes down oh, from Kresnik, hits Zachary. That's going to be an easy kill. Sherlock, he's going to be dropped as well. 85% now. Megachu, if they get this late kill onto Jesus or Megachu, this could be rough, especially since they're not going to have all six. There is no reason for them. Oh, they dropped Purex. They're not going to have time to get regrouped. This is going to be a six on four situation for the side of Renegades. Uh, I mean, Megachu has been solid on all DPS rolls so far, but I just, I'm not really feeling it as much on the McCree. Went ahead and got a nice little uh, flank onto Sinatra and then just missed three headshots on a flashbang target in a row. And this might be it. Zachary, the last hope. He is going to be taking down. Jesus is here as well. Megachu trying for something with the Deadeye. Gets the friend who's just sitting right next to him. Primo doesn't have that Primal Rage ready to go. Pulse Bomb's out there. Oh, he finds a pick there, but I don't think it's going to be enough because Primo was just taken down. Four people are here for Selfless. They've got 99% on the board. They can funnel as best as they possibly can back to the point. It worked in the last round, Jurex, but you can't hope for that to happen. You have to rely on the Blade, too, and the, the Blade does come out, but he's incredibly low. They don't have the support for him. He gets taken out. Sinatra with the Nano Boost just burns him alive. And so, uh, same with Primo as well. He has just been fully charged in this last fight now. Mangachu on the Sombra is running around in stealth. Is going to be taken down. That will be it. A 3-1 comes out there for Selfless on the Zhang Tower. That's going to be a 2-0 victory, Hurex, as they will move on into the finals to take on Cloud9. And that's going to be a...